Just a little project then and it'll help familiarize you with some of the commands. Right click and create a standard torus knot. Select the entire object, switch to edge selection, go to select and store the selection. Go to face, right click and insert just an arbitrary amount, it doesn't matter. Right click again and collapse. Go to the edge tool and go to select and recall selection, hit delete. Now select one of these edges, click on it and press L for loop. You'll see it wraps itself around the entire shape. Then choose an edge that's halfway between two of the selected edges. So let's see, that's about there. Press loop again, right click and loop cut. You'll see that one of these uh, new shapes is highlighted. You can see that in the geometry graph. Just hit delete, you only want one of these. Go to face selection and select this odd face that's been left behind. It makes things look a bit broken. So click on that and then flip the shape over. So that was the middle mouse button and you moving the mouse that allows you to rotate that and then select the other side of that odd shape. So you can see you're in this position, right click and intrude just very slightly. At this point you can select the entire shape, right click and do a do Sabian subdivision. Right, press space to deselect everything, go to the edge tool and select one of the edges here that's in the middle, press G, that should take it around the entire shape, then switch to face and press plus to extend the selection. Right click again and inset um, an arbitrary amount, it doesn't really matter, and then right click again and extrude and that will create the bubbles on the surface. So if you just do them so they're just about colliding in parts, that's great. And then when you've done that, Select the entire object and press S to smooth. It'll take a little while, you can see the progress bar at the bottom. And smooth again if you want a more complex model. And this model will be now quite complex, so it'll be difficult to make any further modifications to it. And you'll also note that when it comes to exporting this model, you can see it's uh, even running quite slowly now on my PC. So when it comes to exporting this model, it will take some time. So it will seem like uh, Wings has stalled. So if you go File, Export, and Export as an Object Format, it might take uh, a couple of three minutes before this is fully exported. So there you go. That's a quick recipe to create this uh, interesting shape that's sort of uh, made from a torus knot and is bobbly on one side. So I hope you found that interesting and that you'll have a go at that. And uh, you know, render that in the render engine of your choice. The uh, the beginning images I'm going to use, one is rendered in Bryson, the other one is rendered in Octane. So there you go, that's the end of the video.